Shenanigan is afoot. Building is going to commence. What shall we make? Well, that's what I asked you, the viewer. What would you like me to make the heart, the focal point of my crypt here? You had four options. A mausoleum, an obelisk, a statue, and I don't know, maybe something on fire. And in a dominating win with 54% of the vote, a mausoleum was our winner. For a hot second there, I don't know, maybe something on fire was tied, but mausoleum ended up pulling ahead. So today, we've got two things we need to build. A, a mausoleum. And two, upstairs here, I dug out a new storage room. So I'm kind of tired of having my things cluttering the entrance here. So we're going to move everything into here. And with those two builds done, I think I am prepared to declare starter base done. What comes next after starter base? We move to the primary base. That is right. We will found our new farm, our new colony, and it will be awesome. So, let's get started. Oh, what do we got here? What is this, some sort of nasty little hole in the ground? Well, I guess the door's open, so I'm just going to go ahead and let myself in. Oh. What do we have going on here? What is this? Who are you? Uh, it's, 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 there, there's a sign! There is a, no soliciting. Oh, darling, there's no time for signs. Look at this mess. Look at this ginormous mess you got going on. And what do you call this place anyway? What, what do you have going this, on here? This is my home. I live here. You call, you call this a home? Sweetheart. You can't be doing this to your sweet, sweetheart. It's too far, too dark. You need to let some light in. You got all these dark colors on the walls. There's a, a really heavy draft going on through here. There's a hole in the floor. Yes, there is. A, there's. A, a, how did you get here? How did you find me? I live in a mountain. Darling. Why do you sound like a 70-year-old chain smoker? Da darling. Darling. Listen, listen here, darling. Good God. I, I've been giving out a lot of fashion advice over the years, okay? Uh, 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 you're... And you, what are these rags that you're wearing? The... Honey, you need to eat uh, something. You need to put some little meat on your bones. I, I... Sir, I think. I am death. Destroyer of worlds. We are. Death ain't scared of you. Uh, 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 what, what, what is wrong with how I look? Sweetheart, my third ex-husband looked better than you. What happened to the first two? You don't want to know. Okay. Who let you in? Sweetheart, the, the door's wide open. Is it? You should know by now that if a door's open, I'm just, I'm just going to come walking in. But I don't even know who you are. <laughs> Why are you here? Oh, the door is open. Well... Um, I, I'll, I'll put it, I'll put this to you, I'll put this in terms that you can understand. I live here. This is private property. You are trespassing. Now, I would suggest that you leave before uh, matters need to be resolved. Wait, uh, you think I'm scared of that thing? You yes. live in a rat's hole. Yes, but that, oh my god, I am death. I can do this. Are you familiar with the movie uh, 300? Sweetheart, 300. That's how much money my third ex-husband spent on a ring. You think that hurt me, sweetheart? I've taken worse from my how second How are you husband. still alive? You know what? I'm coming. I'm gonna, this, this is... Silence is bliss. With those, with that very strange interruption out of the way, I, I do need to put a door on my crypt, apparently. Let's commence with building of the crypt and finally renovating the storage area. 
Hello, everybody. It is your friendly neighborhood post-editing Joe. Not to be confused with post-it cereal. Not the point. Today, I'm here to walk you through the inner machinations of my mind while building this crypt. Not gonna lie to you, this crypt build was pretty much a wing and a prayer. I had no real idea going into it, and it definitely kind of shows. I basically, towards the end there, began to stick things on the crypt to see, you know, how it worked. At first I started this, the crypt was way too big and I was gonna blow through all the resources I had allocated and I really did not feel like digging around for another two to three hours to find more resources. So I shrunk the build a little bit and I really think that that was to the build's benefit. Now I wanna do something kind of unique here with the roof that I haven't done before on any normal build. And uh, I might be getting a little bit ahead of myself here as I can see I'm actually working on the floor. There we go. I think uh, here's where I begin working on the on the roof. So I have uh, deep slate brick as the base of the build, but then I decided to go with a deep slate tile for the roof. And I actually think that turned out really cool. The other thing that I thought that I wanted to try uh, to kind of make look unique was do slabs, uh, do a combination of both stairs and slabs. So the stairs are going to be at the base, the slabs are going to take are going to be on the base layer and the slabs are going to be the rest of the or the rest of the ceiling. I was trying out a couple other things here to try and add more detail to the base again. I was kind of going into this with no clear direction or clear idea. At one point I go outside to, right there to take a look at my outside base entrance to kind of glean some inspiration. So this is the point where I began to kind of start sticking random things on and seeing what worked and that's kind of how I had that little detail there on the outside edge and here's where I began to uh, kind of create just like a little lantern uh, we're sped up to like six times speed here but it took me um, obviously because we're at six times speed it, what you see happened there very fast but it took me a very long time to kind of gain inspiration here for this build but I am personally very pleased with how it how it turned out adding some lanterns for some ambiance, adding some uh, iron cages again for some ambience, swapping out my torches for soul torches and dropping in some soul lanterns to really try and make the atmosphere look nice around the crypt. And again, I am super happy with that uh, build. Here's where you can see the server crashing. So a little bit of my work got lost, but I ended up coming up with an even better idea for, a, for an inside burial chamber which you'll see I'm assembling here as we speak. And so I did decide to, um, you know, dedicate this burial spot to something that's near and dear to my heart, which we'll highlight a little bit later in the build. Now at this point, I'm honestly suffering from a little bit of build fatigue and I know I still have to fill in this storage room. The storage room follows pretty much the same palette that we have been using the rest of the build, the same build palette we've been using for the rest of the build, except on the floor, since it's a storage area, I just wanted to use some deep slate brick and some cracked brick, just so it wasn't a full layer of uh, deep slate brick. And uh, again, at this point, I was suffering major build fatigue, so I just wanted, I wanted to get this, I wanted to get this done, I wanted to get this texture laid out on the wall, and at some point in the future, I, uh, next episode, before next episode, I'll have all of my storage kind of put in here. So with that, let's kick it back over to live action, Joe. The storage room is done. And let's take a look here at the mausoleum. I'm actually pretty happy with how this turned out. I was basically winging a prayer in it just a little bit, but I think it turned out pretty okay. I'm really not sure where that skeleton has come from, but, you know, I think it really had something... I wonder if it has something to do with the soul torches producing just a little bit less light. I'll figure that out eventually. But I think the mausoleum is appropriate, appropriately themed, good lighting. Laid beneath this hollowed sod lies Bleaker's hopes and dreams. Rest in peace. So, with that, in between episodes, I will begin moving my storage area over, show that off, and the next episode.
we go to the main base. We go to my land claim, which I don't believe we've seen yet. So be looking forward to that coming up next time. Thank you all very much for watching and your, for your support. Till next time, this has been Bleaker. Be seeing ya. Thank you.